This is the story of Michaela Bryant, age 22, a beautiful, brilliant and accomplished young scholar from Chicago, Illinois who was killed during a botched drug sale. State of Florida versus Khalil Anthony Ogilvy, the verdict. We the jury find as follows. Michaela, who had led FAMU's cheerleading team during the 2019-20 school year decided to sell a quarter pound of marijuana, but upon arrival at the exchange point, the buyer, Khalil Ogilvy, age 26, tried to rob her which ended up with a struggle between both parties and the gun going off killing her instantly. But was that what really happened? Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. Go fight win. And that's exactly what I plan on doing. I'm no stranger to school spirit. You see me on the sidelines cheering. Orange and green in my veins? That's how I'm living. I'm bigger than I ever dreamed. And the dream is almost over. Now I am vying to be your queen. My head shall wear a crown. My heart shall be of a rapper. My hands shall cease to never work. And you see, game after game, I've already been working on the field. So today, I'm putting down my pom-poms and picking up my sword because I am ready to fight and win whatever the battle be. Greetings, I am Michaela Camille Bryant, a junior criminal justice scholar from the city that breathes legends, Chicago, Illinois. And I am humbly vying to serve as your queen of the orange and the green for the 2020-2021 academic year. Thank you. This story will be taking us to Tallahassee, Florida. The capital of Florida, Tallahassee is a genteel southern town with good manners, rolling hills, oak canopied roads, plantation homes. The crime rate in Tallahassee is considerably higher than the national average across all communities in America from the largest to the smallest, although at 31 crimes per 1,000 residents, it is not among the communities with the very highest crime rate. <laughs> Michaela Bryant was born September 29, 2003 in East Franklin Township to James Bryant and Jessica Bryant. Michaela grew up as a happy child. Michaela was studying psychology as a graduate student at FAMU at the time of this incident. In 2020, she graduated with a bachelor's degree in criminal justice from the same university. Heavily involved out of the classroom, Michaela led FAMU's cheerleading team during the 2019-20 school year and was a member of the Delta Sigma Theta sorority. Here are some of her videos. My phone is 7%. Michaela loved traveling, she traveled with her friend to enjoy life some ways she could. She was a very happy young lady who just wanted nothing more than to live and do what she loves to do. Pop your shit, pop your shit, pop your shit. <laughs> Unfortunately, some things led to the other making Michaela want to deal with some people in the underworld. On January 26, 2022, Michaela had some marijuana which she wanted to sell, so she contacted her longtime on again off again friend, Precious Charlton. They talked about what she wanted to do and she promised to link her up with Khalil Ogilvy, age 26. Khalil was supposed to meet them at the Providence Point apartment complex to exchange $650 for the quarter pound of marijuana. So Precious picked up Michaela from the Governor's Square Mall, where she was working at the time, 
before they headed over to the complex parking lot. When they arrived, Khalil approached Michaela and pulled out a handgun in an attempt to rob her which didn't go well. Michaela was said to have grappled with Khalil making them go back and forth. At the end of the back and forth, the gun went off and struck Michaela. Precious quickly drove Michaela to Tallahassee Memorial Healthcare where she died during surgery. Two weeks after the shooting, Precious was arrested and charged with third-degree felony murder and possession of narcotics with intent to sell. Two-year-old FAMU grad student Michaela Bryant was killed as shots rang out at the Providence Point apartment complex on Stuckey Avenue. Madison Glazer in live at TPD tonight for us with the latest on this investigation. Madison. Police are not releasing any details at this time. Right now, they're only seeing that they're following up on interviews and finishing up on their prospective leads. We'll, we'll go from there and, and hopefully, you know, be able to find the suspects and, and find out who did this. A shooting of this apartment complex on Stuckey Avenue Wednesday afternoon, claiming the life of 22-year-old Michaela Bryant. This part was an eye-opening experience with somebody losing their life because uh, we've had um, several shootings around here lately. Providence Point resident Stephanie Evans says she heard it all play out while inside her apartment. Somebody was running up and down the steps and somebody hit our door. It was like they hit our door trying to get in. I don't know if somebody was trying to get help to get in or whatever, but I told him don't look out that door and don't go to the door because, and then that's when we heard the crashing and the loud noises and stuff. The victim's godfather and cousin, Joe Starnes, describes Michaela Bryant as smart, funny, and outgoing. Someone who made her family proud. At FAMU, she was active with the Delta Sigma Theta sorority and a member of the cheer team. Khalil was initially charged with second-degree murder, but a grand jury upped those charges against him to first-degree murder, which carries a maximum penalty of death or life in prison. Khalil pleaded not guilty and the case headed to trial. Before Khalil's case went to trial, the state attorney's office announced that it is dropping charges against Precious, but Khalil will face the law. Khalil Ogilvie is now facing first-degree murder charges. 22-year-old Michaela Bryant was killed at the Providence Point Apartments complex in January of 22. Police say a botched drug deal among Bryant, her girlfriend, and Ogilvie led to the deadly shooting. Court papers say Charlton called 911 and drove straight to the hospital when she realized Bryant had been shot. Savannah Kelly has been in court all afternoon for us as testimony kicked off. Savannah. Yeah, Jacob, Julie, testimony just wrapped up for the day. We heard from about half a dozen witnesses, including Precious Carlton, Michaela Bryant's girlfriend. Now, we mentioned a moment ago that 911 call that Carl Charlton made on the way to the hospital. The state played a recording of that call in court today. As she listened to it, Charlton broke down into tears. Now, one key fact that the defense and the prosecution dispute is when Ogilvie's gun fired. The defense says it happened accidentally when Ogilvie and Bryant were fighting over control of Bryant's gun. They say Ogilvie's hands were reaching through the car window when Charlton drove away, causing the gun to fire. In her testimony today, Charlton disputed that. She said she heard the gun fire before she started driving. She says after Bryant and Ogilvie started fighting, she froze, but hearing that gunshot snapped her out of it. When they say it's fight, flight, or freeze, I was frozen. Like, I'm, I'm just stuck, like, and and I don't know if y'all ever heard of a gunshot, but three feet away from me was close enough to pull anybody out of any type of thought because it's just, just out of the blue. I'm like, dang, I got to do something right now. The state called several other witnesses today, including a police officer who gave Bryant first aid and a witness who said he saw part of the drug deal happen through his apartment window. Now, the trial will continue tomorrow morning. It's expected to wrap up by Friday. Khalil decided to go to trial and that did not favor him from the outcome. He claimed during the sale, she tried to attack him first and there was a scuffle and the gun went off even though he said it was not a case of self-defense. The jury did not buy all the excuse he gave. Khalil Ogilvie was convicted after a jury deliberated for about two hours. All right, well, be soon. Um, first of all, did the jury select a four-person? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Wood, were you, uh, were you selected as the four-person of the jury? Yes, sir. Did the jury reach a verdict? Yes, we did. Was the verdict unanimous? Yes, it was. Did you complete, sign, and date the verdict form? I did. If you'd please give that to the deputy, I'll publish the jury's verdict.
State of Florida versus Khalil Anthony Ogilvie, the verdict. We, the jury, find as follows. Khalil uh, Ogilvie is guilty of manslaughter. During the commission of the crime, did Khalil Ogilvie carry, display, use, threaten to use, or attempt to use a firearm? Yes. In the course of committing the crime, did Khalil Ogilvie actually possess a firearm? Yes. In the course of committing the crime, did Khalil Ogilvie discharge a firearm? Yes. In the course of committing the crime, did Khalil Ogilvie discharge a firearm and thereby cause the death of Michaela Bryant? Yes. So say we all, this first day of February, 2024, <coughs> excuse me, signed by the foreperson. Um, Ms. Kaplan, do you wish the jury to be polled? No, Your Honor. Mr. Prince, do you wish the jury to be polled? No, Your Honor. All right, so I'll give the uh, verdict to the clerk for filing. Uh, members of the jury, I wish to thank you profoundly for your service. I know you didn't ask for this responsibility, but... We don't trust judges with the work that we ask of you. We rely on ordinary citizens with no stake in the outcome. We know that our system of justice is imperfect because we are imperfect human beings, but because you're willing to serve, to that extent we can have confidence that our system of justice is honest. I thank you profoundly for your service. You also, I need to inform you of a privilege. All jurors have a privilege. It's a privilege not to speak about the jury's work. You have now get all of your First Amendment rights back you're free to discuss the case with anybody that you choose to. An inquiry could come from those who are merely curious or from those who seek to find fault with you. It's up to you to decide whether or not to protect your privacy as a, jur as a jury. You are at this time discharged. You are free to go. Yes, sir. We're just going to wait, uh, wait for everybody until the jury gets out. <coughs> Jury's out. <coughs> Excuse me. Doors closed. Um, with regard to sentencing, Mr. Uh, Prince, is uh, Mr. Ogilvie entitled to and requesting a pre-sentence investigation? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Kaplan, any dispute? No, Your Honor. Uh, Department of Corrections is ordered to prepare and file a pre-sentence investigation within 30 days. Um, Mr. Ogilvie, uh, Mr. Ogilvie is remanded to custody to await sentencing. We're adjourned. Thank you, folks. The jury convicted him of a lesser crime than the first-degree murder charge prosecutors were seeking. He was subsequently sentenced to 20 years for the killing of Michaela Bryant. Today, Khalil Ogilvie was sentenced to 20 years in the death of a FAMU student and cheerleader, Michaela Bryant. Bryant was shot and killed in 2022 in what officers called a botched drug deal. Ogilvie was found guilty of manslaughter in February of this year. A jury convicted him of the lesser charge instead of the first-degree murder charge prosecutors pushed for. Many of Michaela's loved ones were in the courtroom that evening and seemed visibly nervous as they awaited the verdict. They didn't speak with the media after the decision was read aloud, but they left immediately to meet with Assistant State Attorney Georgia Kappelman. She was a 22-year-old Florida A&M University graduate student who was remembered by her family and friends as a stellar student and inspirational leader of the university's cheerleading team. It was unfortunate that a well-groomed young lady crossed path with the likes of Khalil Ogilvie. They lived in two different worlds, the world of the underworld and the world of light. It is a pity this happened to her because of one mistake she had made to deal. She would be missed by her family. We do hope her soul continue to rest in peace. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Michaela Bryant. Please stay safe out there and see your guys in the next video.